All right, Shafali, explain to me the difference between a feeling and an emotion. First of all, I'm not Shafali. My name is Alejandra Calvo. No, seriously. So, a, a feeling, very few of us actually feel it. What we do mm -hmm. is tend to have emotions. Because a feeling is that feeling that you can sit with it and express it without giving an emo emotional charge, like discharge to somebody else. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So emotions are the feelings in motion dumped on somebody else. Yeah? Mm -hmm. So, okay, so I'll read to you the most important things. So emotion is a reaction to a feeling. That's right, yeah, I was kind of, I was thinking that, like, your emotion is how the feeling is manifested. Mm -hmm. Like that feeling in your heart, of being embarrassed or sad or happy. But what he did was completely good. He cried it out. Mm -hmm. That's... His emotion mimicking, his, they're in line. His emotion and his feeling are in line. So that was good. Mm. Yeah, no. Because feeling our feelings involve crying it out mm -hmm. or breathing or walking. It's just an emotion is when you dis like discharge it on somebody else, when you project it, project that feeling, when you cannot sit with your feeling and just feel uncomfortable, mm -hmm. you know? Mm -hmm. Like he was feeling in that moment what he was feeling. He was feeling scared, nervous, and he felt it. Mm -hmm. He felt it. He sat with it. He released it through crying. Mm -hmm. That is not an emotion. He just released that feeling. He mm -hmm. felt that feeling. And then he let it go. That's when you can let it go. When, when the feeling is going to go away. When you sit with that discomfort. When you're able to soothe yourself. Not when you project it to somebody else. That's an emotion. Mm -hmm. So it says here. Yeah. Simply put, we react with an emotion when we're unable to handle our feelings. When we feel uncomfortable, we, we create a small screen of reactivity. For instance, we drink, smoke, blame, guilt, have tantrums, and so on. These feel like feelings, but they're actually the avoidance of the true feelings. Mm -hmm. Um, yeah, the truth is that feelings can be experienced only from a deep and silent place within us. They need to be cried out, walk with, touch, and even experience as quivering and shaking. Feelings can be acknowledged only on a visceral, and on a visceral, highly personal level. It's because most of us are trained, are not trained to feel our feelings, really feel them that then we dump them on our loved ones in a form of a emotional reaction. Mm. So she's saying it's important to sit with your feelings, to feel your feelings, to acknowledge them. Yeah. And to really feel them. And, and feelings are part of life. Good feelings and bad feelings and um, you can tune in and allow the feelings to speak to us wash over us and transform us mm -hmm. um, what we do is the opposite we hush up we be, we, uh, we try to make them disappear and um, we numb ourselves with pharmaceutical drugs 
Feelings are organic responses to life situations. Anxiety as a feeling is natural. However, we don't know how to simply sit with our, ex our anxiety. Suiting ourselves, it can take us over. When this happens, emotion floods us and blocks what we are really feeling. Emotions carry a charge of resistance. This is when unproductive emotions such as jealousy, the desire to manipulate or control, the inclination to pout and sulk, the urge to distance ourselves, or the tendency to explode at someone arise. All of this because we're unable to sit with our feelings and soothe ourselves from the inside. So what should you do when you feel anxious? The first thing is to recognize what you're actually feeling. Many of us live in a matter that's disconnected from our feelings, which means we are constantly reacting destructively in some way rather, rather than responding constructively. As long as we're tuned into our feelings and can identify when an emotional reaction is beginning to cloud them, we won't project them onto our children. So for example, here it links it to <clears throat> when you are starting to feel uncomfortable mm -hmm. and you want to react on your child, the timeout is not to your child, it's to you. Mm -hmm. That's the time, that's the only person you should give a time out to. Because that's your feeling. Whatever the child is making you to feel uncomfortable, that is your feeling. You're not supposed to project that on him. You're supposed to handle and put whatever boundary with stillness. Because when you let the emotion take over, instead of feeling your feelings, that's when you make mistakes mm -hmm. and you create disconnection. He gives an example here. Um, it gives the example of a teenager that is having dinner with the parents and the teenager says something like, oh, I, I gotta confess that I, I haven't worked on my project. All I've been doing the whole day is play video games. And then the dad immediately, because the teenager is being honest with him, the dad creates this connection. I'm a little bit tired. He creates this connection because the dad reacted with emotions. You know, he felt scared in the moment that his child is not going to be good enough to go to college or whatever, or that he's going to fail in life. So immediately he grounds him and say, like, you can go to your soccer practices, you can't, like, you're grounded for the next two weeks. And then he had a soccer game the next weekend. The dad, he doesn't really want to take away that from him because the, the son is actually good in soccer. And the dad even had the co-worker said to him on Monday, like, oh, I'm excited for the game. Like, mm -hmm. your, your son is so good. Like, I really, like, he generally is a good soccer player. And the dad generally did not want to ground him with that. But he let his emotions take over, over a feeling of anxiety that he had. Instead of sitting down and trusting the universe and it's, you know, that the child itself has to learn his own consequences, you know. Mm -hmm. So what she says in that example is that if the child is coming to you and, and trying to look, because the, the teenager, what he's doing is trying to look for some advice or like, if he's confessing he's not doing that, it's because he doesn't really know maybe how to. Maybe he wants to. help. Maybe he's like once he's unsure about something. Mm -hmm. So, and then that what what happened there is that he created disconnection. 
because he couldn't handle his feelings. He let fear take over. Mm -hmm. 